Back in 1996, an American action spy film directed by Brian De Palma and produced by and starring Tom Cruise from a screenplay by David Coop and Robert Town and story by Coop and Steven Zalen was released called Mission Impossible. It was a film that was based around a TV series that had previously ran decades earlier and this is a film that for years I never got around to watching when I was a kid my dad was always watching one of the later Mission Impossible movies like the second or the third one and it was really maybe the third or fourth one which is what got me onto this franchise and from there on I've been pretty much a casual fan I would maybe watch every other Mission Impossible movie that came out and really I liked every single one I just never sat down and watched all of them from start to finish and so that is what this is going to be a just kind of quick review of a casual fan of the Mission Impossible movies from start to finish and so here we go somebody who grew up watching Jason Bourne movies the James Bond films and of course nowadays you got Keanu Reeves as John Wick running around kicking ass Mission Impossible has still been going around running strong one character one actor and is really one of the most consistent franchises out there if you think about it when you got what seven films uh, you look at Transformers or some or certain franchises like that even the DC franchises which is one of my favorites obviously Marvel lately Mission Impossible is really one of the most consistent especially when it comes to action films as well there were numerous efforts by Paramount to create a film adaptation of the television series and it was stalled basically until Tom Cruise founded the Cruise Wagner Productions and decided on Mission Impossible as its inaugural project. And while Cruise did most of his own stunts, there is an element to this film that is missing from some of the later films even the newest one dead reckoning part one but i finally decided to give the very first mission impossible movie a try i'm after all a spy fan i have no excuse as to why i gave myself such a long time to give this film a chance and right away obviously you notice the epic theme song that every average person has heard it's just something that is ingrained in every single baby in the hospital before you leave the hospital they just play it next to your crib or something i don't know what it is but my wife my brother-in-law they know the this theme song and they had never seen a mission impossible movie and there's so many people just playing on the playground as kids that would be humming this song who had never been allowed to see a mission impossible movie it's just something that is ingrained in film culture at this point and i i've never seen the tv series so i i don't know if it's from that if it's a generational thing or if it was from this particular film but either way it is iconic it is withstanded multiple decades and is really a multi-generational theme song at this point and is probably going to live on past tom cruise and, and as it should and really it, it is an iconic theme song that is really just with this franchise if he wants it to live on with this franchise then good on him but i was somebody who grew up more of a James Bond fan, more of a Jason Bourne guy, whatever. And I was very, very late to the Mission Impossible party. So when this film opens up and there's the team aspect introduced, I kind of rolled my eyes. I was like, okay, so this is going to be totally different. There's not going to be a focus on Ethan Hunt in this movie. I guess that'll be maybe different, refreshing. So I wasn't like totally pulled out of it. And but as soon as if you've seen the film they do something extremely different and it does focus on ethan hunt and just in a different way than i was expecting and instantly i was like okay i have not given this film enough credit and why have i not been watching this movie this movie has so many different twists and turns and i won't give away any major spoilers but there are some major characters major actors from different spy thrillers 
like Leon the Professional, if anybody else is a fan of that movie. I don't know if he was more like Leon the Sneeze in this, but whatever. But this movie wastes no time to get you invested in Ethan Hunt. There's multiple scenes that are very, very intense. Drop the knife, am I right? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It's really amazing to see how far the tech has come. Although the practical effects and the camera tricks really are what made some of these visuals work as well as they did. They were very, very effective the way they switched back and forth between character and character an actor and actor it worked very well in this film and although it does feel very much like a 90s action film especially when you have tom cruise flying through the air later on in the film with the big explosions in the background it does feel at times like i would understand why someone watching it today for the first time would feel it a little bit cheesy watching that but to me i dug it i was all about it granted i didn't love the film it was a little confusing to me, to be honest with you. I didn't quite understand some of the twists and the turns. I had to rewind it a few times to make sure I quite understood that. And then when looking online, I realized that I wasn't alone in the big reveal, the big twist in the movie. It does come off a little quick. Some people get very, very defensive and they say, Oh, you must be freaking stupid if you don't understand and i'm not alone there are some other people that did have some problems with the big twist in the movie and certain plot holes here and there throughout the film but overall i don't think it ruins the entire movie and i don't think the movie is the greatest mission impossible movie by any means but it is the one that started it all i did dishonor this movie by not watching it for well, almost three decades now, and I will go on and watch this film at least once a year from here on now. A solid spy action thriller that felt almost like a clue who done it that did not have to rely on heavy amounts of gunfire action or even hand to hand combat. There was a lot of action, yes, but there was a lot more intensity, there was a lot more suspense building, and acting just good old-fashioned acting and good old-fashioned earning that suspense earning that dread feeling in the audience member at least for me watching it the first time so very very pleasantly surprised went into this with not low expectations but just kind of middle of the road expectations just like okay i know this isn't going to be one of my favorite films but how bad is it going to be? Is it going to be good? And I was very surprised. So probably I expect to be one of the higher Mission Impossible movies. I have seen most of them, and I would say that it's not that much lower. But hope you join me on this list or join me on this exploration of the Mission Impossible movies for the first time. Granted, I have seen a few of them, so it is kind of cheating, but I am going to be watching all of the Mission Impossible movies for the first time, reviewing them, ranking them, all of that good stuff. And I hope you come back and join me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.